Hey guys, it's Brad. So we're gonna start putting together the Titan X3 series folding rack. I'm gonna be using two by six um, screwed into the studs and then we're gonna bolt the rack into the two by six. So pretty simple setup here. I mean, it's eight bolts <laughs> and some uh, uh, locking pins. I'm going to put the arms, like the swing arms here, all the way at the bottom. I'm going to tighten with, tighten, <laughs> tighten, as in tighten the bolts. Um, go through first with just some adjustable pliers, and then I'm going to come back through with crescent wrenches to tighten everything down. These are some pretty big nuts. <clears throat> the biggest socket I have is seven eighths and I do not have any um, open-ended wrenches or crescent wrenches that are this big. So seven, this is bigger than a seven eighths. And anyways, I'm gonna put this one at the bottom, the very bottom, as low as it can go. You wanna make sure that you put them on there correctly, right? So this is um, the side of the upright that faces the front. This is where you put your J cups in. This is the side that faces the left and the right. So you're gonna turn it like that to put your arm on there. And the top arm, the reason I'm putting, putting this one at the bottom is because I have a light socket, a light socket, a plug down here that we want to not have to go above because of the mirror and then excuse me <clears throat> we're going to take off the baseboard and put that two by six right up under that plug that's a uh, I, I just this is 70 inches because i have 70 inches you really only need like five feet so that's what's five feet 60 inches but i already have two cut at that size and then for the top i'm not exactly sure where the top is gonna go. Um, you want space at the top for the pull-up bar to be able to attach above the swing arm. And I'll show you at the end of the video, once we have everything set up, why that is. And I need to go get a tape measure and uh, measure up to where that is. I think this is an eight foot ceiling. And so we can't, put the pull-up bar all the way at the top. Otherwise, we'll bash our head into the ceiling when we're doing pull-ups. So the pull-up bar needs to be a few holes down, and then the arm needs to be right below where I want the pull-up bar to go. And again, I'll show you why at the end of the video. So this is where I'm gonna attach this arm for my gym setup, and um, I have an eight foot ceiling in here, so I wanted the pull-up bar to be above it, and that gives me, so the pull-up bar right there is just under seven feet, um, maybe two inches under seven feet. So that gives me, what, 14 inches of clearance between the pull-up bar and the ceiling. And that should put that arm bolting in so the door the top of the door there that corner is exactly seven feet and then there's another foot to the ceiling so that should put us close to um, where we had the old folding rack installed so I'll put a two by six across that that we bolt into and I'm gonna show you the bolts here in just a second or well the lag screws so this comes with the hardware to assemble the rack pieces. It does not come with um, a spreader, like the metal spreaders you see. So that's why we're using two by six. We are going to screw those in to the studs uh, using some heavy duty construction screws. And then we're gonna get lag screws to screw um, these brackets into the two by six. And then like I said, because I have eight foot ceilings, I gotta make sure I have enough 
clearance that I don't bash my head into the ceiling uh, when we're doing pull-ups. So we have all four of the arms on. We have the brackets turned and braced, uh, braced, locked in with the locking pins. Um, one thing to note, if you are OCD and you're not paying attention, you might, cause these things can go either way. Like I just made sure that the nut was on the bottom. These came, came already assembled. So I, it, I could have put it on this way or the other way. Um, I just made sure that these brackets were all facing the same with the nut on the bottom. And then I attached these with the nut on the back side here. So I fed the bolt through the opposite way and the, the nut is on the back side. The only reason I did that is so that it doesn't stick out uh, in the front when it's open. But uh, I mean, those could probably go either way as well. And I don't know if there's a reason to put them through one way or the other. And uh, I didn't check the instructions before I did this. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna screw those two by fours into the wall and we'll come back when that's done.